Welcome back, everybody, to episode 10 of Debate and Destroy, the one and only metal podcast where we take two legendary metal albums on a weekly basis, go track for track to find out which is the best. I'm your host once again, Blackout Bill, and today, in honor of episode 10, we decided to go a little bit more cult, a little bit more black, and venture into the second wave of black metal with two legendary bands, the Almighty Emperor and the Great Enslaved with their albums Into the Nightside Eclipse and Frost. If you haven't checked out our first nine episodes, they're now available on Spotify, Pod, uh, sorry, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, and YouTube. So go like and subscribe us over there. And if you like what you hear, go follow us on Instagram and Twitter for any and all updates at the handle debate destroy one word debate destroy if you have any comments questions suggestions or just want to tell jj and i that we are wrong our opinions are in fact wrong feel free to do so by emailing us at debate destroy at gmail.com one word debate destroy at gmail.com but without any further ado it is time to bust out the corpse paint Time to get the pentagrams out. Time to get very true cult. Because it is Emperor's In the Nightside Eclipse versus Enslaved's Frost on episode 10 of A Debate and Destroy. Everybody, get up. <laughs> Welcome back to Bait and Destroy episode 9. No, episode 10. 10. Shit, Holy we are here. Shit. Episode 10. Joined as always with the fiend from Carrizo Springs, Loco JJ Del Loco Toro. Loco JJ in the house. <laughs> oh my God. How you living on, on this nice Saturday morning? Have you Good, recovered? Man. Have you recovered from your beat down the other day? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm hurt from that. Seriously. It, it really <laughs> tore me up. I was sitting in a car just like mourning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JJ lost bad on the last episode, unfortunately. Uh, but we're not gonna talk about it here. We might <laughs> we might get him a little bit upset before we have to dive into it's two more albums. up. And then of course we got Eric back on the mic. Let us know how you're doing, man. What's going on? Doing pretty good. I'm you, ready. You ready to bring the heat back? <laughs> oh, I'm ready to bring I don't have as much heat for this one, but you don't have but but uh, I'm excited. I okay. like these. I love these two records. So now we know Eric's buzzword is a thousand lies. So don't even say. It. Don't even say. It. I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't get him started. Don't get him started. Don't we're, get me started. We're not on talking about lies. that. We're not talking about that. Today we're talking about two of the probably the biggest uh, black metal bands, and from the second, I guess the second. I don't care about the waves. Two of the biggest black metal bands <laughs> with some of their most iconic releases. The yep. huge influences. Yeah, 1994's Emperor's Into the Nightside Eclipse and Enslaves Frost which I think I read that they were actually came out as a uh, dual release. Well, um, I was going to say it wasn't a dual release, but in 1993, they made an EP. Both of them had an EP, and yeah. um, it was a dual EP, Emperor on the front. A split. A split. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And, and Slave on, on the back. back. And on that one was uh, two songs that actually made it to Nightside. Yeah. But on Hordana's Land... None of those songs actually made it to Frost. Okay. But um, but that's why we decided to do these two, because they're kind of, you know, contemporary. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Emperor's for sure <laughs> regarded Into the Nightside Eclipse. Everyone knows about it. I think Enslaved, uh, maybe you have to do, like, just a little bit of digging to get to Frost, but not too much. Like, it's not too deep yeah. in the black metal scene. But definitely came out the same year, same time. Uh, so very similar albums and extremely influential. Definitely Emperor and Ishan. And then Enslaved went to do... Well, I would like to say bigger and better things, but <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't get there Ooh, yet. Maybe in the intermission, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Agreed. So uh, for the track listing, uh, we basically kept it the same since all future releases of Into the Nightside Eclipse had the introduction uh, put in with uh, Into the Infinity of Thoughts. 
we basically decided to do the same thing with Frost and Loki because the time is going to be close to the nine minutes. So that's the only change we made. So it's a clean, even eight. It shouldn't be that long of a debate, I don't think. We do have a lot of things to say about these albums, but we're going to start it off with track number one. Well, Frost and Loki versus Into the Nights or Into the Infinity of Thoughts. This is a good battle. This I is think. a good one. I like start. this. This is a good battle. Right from the start. Yeah, let's talk about the intros, man, because I think in- starting with the, I'm going to start with Enslaved. Starting the album, I love that like build up because it's perfectly representative of like what this album is trying to do in the sense that like the album cover, when you look at it, the title is Frost. You put this on and then you where am I? You're like in a frozen You're land, man. You're in a new man. realm, dude. You're in a, where are you going? I, I it's love It's so that eerie, shit. dude. It's yeah, so it is eerie. really eerie. Yeah, yeah. and it, I just love the way it builds up. And, and the transition to Loki is really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. It transitions really well. And then Loki opens up into that tune. Like, very yeah. open. Yeah, very yeah. open. The intro's and, very well done, dude. Okay. It is. You're about yeah. to go on an adventure. But, like, it changes pace. Exactly. But, oh, man. Is it too long? I think it's too long. It's like two and a half minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. They but should it just combined it. It's three yeah. minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, That's three minutes. It is pretty intro. long. And it's it a, picks little up a little long. bit, but I mean, it is a little long. Like two minutes, we would have been good. Three <laughs> minutes. Are oh, you pushing it? Because it's really cool, but it doesn't change. It's yeah. the same melody for three it is minutes. The same melody. You know, they could have whereas um the intro of Into the Infinity of Thoughts. They just want to put the It's ice. just real quick. Yeah. And they got the thunder. Yeah. But it's Dude. it's just Builds that song. Dude, I that love, love it. Fucking awesome. It's, it's like amazing. A it really is commanding troops, man. Just, I, I <laughs> oh picture my in my God. head, man. <laughs> Seriously. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like them both. But like you said, that one goes on a little bit long. But they're just trying to put the ice in your vein, dude. And I put that on. Like, if it's even if uh, like where we live, it's really hot. And even I put that on, I start getting cold. Oh my God. I start get feeling the blanket. chills. Get that blanket ready, dude. Get the blanket ready, dude. I'm like, oh shit, I'm getting kind of cold. What is this? But. uh <laughs> Yeah, I, but like you said, when it opens up, I think you get more of the idea, guitar-wise, driven by Loki than you do into the Infinity of Thoughts. Like, you have that big guitar hook. Yeah, that's cool. And but, it's like, I don't know, like, because... I, I don't, I'm not even going to get into what's in the genre, what's not in the genre, because these are both black, so whatever. But that one is just more like guitar-driven, whereas uh, Into the Night Side gets flooded more by the... Uh, or uh, Keyboards, the, right? The keyboards, yeah. Yes. And you, you'll see that over and over and over uh, in these two albums. But I think that the guitar part, like that, starting off with Loki, it, it just hooks you a little bit more than, for me personally, than Into the Infinity of Thoughts. And I'm not saying that makes it a better song. Even, okay, huh, but even, a, even with the, th- I think the opposite yeah. too, like yeah. even yeah. with the thunder, and then, dude, that tremolo dude, is yeah, I love awesome. that tremolo. I feel thinking. like I'm about to go down. Dude. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I can, uh, and it might just be a test that I can hum it, you know what I mean? I can hum the, the, the tremolo picking of the other one, but I just think that like, that big, like crash down once the, the intro stops and then you have that just like it is cool it sounds it's a little like more crowd singing. pleasing yeah I would think so yeah. too but then you have the transition into the black yeah dude da, 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 da. so let's talk about Frost first then let's just okay. let's, since we're oh, sorry Loki first oh yeah since we're already it is much more riff centered yeah definitely oh, for sure. way more in your face yeah for sure, and and the and it still has a classic black metal vibes to it. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. So yes. like like I said, even though it starts with a riff like that, it transitions very fast into like yes. But they're still kind of using the same notes, just going faster. Yes. And guys, Grootle or his, what is his name? Grootle, Grootle, the sing dude. I love that guy's fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> like I love Ishan, but I think Grootle is better. Wait, you're out this <laughs> album. Throughout both their careers, I think. Groot no, was just, we're just talking about. Okay, but even in this album, I, Why? I like Ishan's voice on this. I like theory. Ishan's because it's like a, it's not even like it's a scream. It sounds like a wraith. It's like, like subtle hints of uh, what's his name, uh, Danny Filth. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see where he was inspired with oh, those highs. Oh for sure, dude. Yeah. Some of those are so cool, man. But there's just <laughs> something <laughs> about like, and it might just be the way it's produced, but Grootley's voice just cuts through like like butter. Since <laughs> since we're talking about him, I'm yeah. just gonna skip to the end. Dude, that laugh, it does oh, not come off as corny laugh. at all. I love it. It sounds so <laughs> evil. It sounds so sinister, dude. It sounds I know. so it's a awesome. Fit for that song, man. It sounds amazing. Yeah. I love the laugh at the end. It's yeah. so cool. <laughs> That's such a good song. Um, and then for the song, like, midway when it goes to, like, the next section, and then it, like, builds to that breakdown riff. 
Oh, oh yeah. my god, that breakdown yeah. riff is awesome. And then it re- re- reverts back to the main riff. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's a really cool mm. song. Yeah, and it just like his howling is so like I don't know. It's exactly what I want when I listen to black metal. And not saying that Ishan isn't. There's just something about Gutley's voice. And then uh I think speaking to the drums too, I I also think I prefer the production. Uh, but we can get to that later. But th- the way they stick out, it's not just the you know keyboards that gets uh, that that are overbearing. I think they're, the keyboards are a little overbearing. The Emperor one, and I'm not saying that takes away from the songs. What I'm saying is that like the drumming and the guitars, which I usually listen to when I mm-hmm. go for metal, yeah. that comes out more in Frost. Agreed. You know what I mean? Agreed. And but- I can really hear like what that guy's doing. And why did they get rid of this drummer? I, I want to know. Like, hey, Kato, Kato's the man, dude. The the one from uh, Frost, right? No, no, no. I'm saying Kato, the one from like Below the Lights On. Or no, no. The Aisa. one from Below the Lights sucks. Dude. Yeah, that's not him, though. Yeah, yeah. Not that that's guy. That's not him. No, this guy is awesome. So I don't know why they yeah. got rid of him. I, he'll probably be on the back. I'm not sure what his name is. Yeah, here. I'll look at it real yeah. quick. Yeah, but I love that. And especially, like you said, that his one. His name is with, Trim Torson. Trim Torson. Okay. Yeah, that. And, you know, I'm a metalhead. I, I, just like all of we are, but I think sometimes in the black metal stuff, when they grind it out for so long and they don't have big riffs, it's overbearing. Sometimes. It's, it gets a little overbearing. <laughs> yeah. So I like that in Slice brings that. Hey, that's yeah. a killer riff. A killer riff. And then it so goes to riff. that laugh. It's funny. Yeah. You see where, where they're going to go later on in the career. Even you though think so? still, yes. No, so I, some, some of those riffs translate what they could do now. It really does. Some of it. I think some Not of, all of yeah. it. Yeah. Like, uh, what, what's the, the the first song off Ritter? has? It starts really heavy. Uh, that's It's the, the Hammer song. Yeah, I don't Hammers. How it goes. Thoughts Like Hammers or whatever. No, but yeah. even Roots of the Mountain, like, it starts with like a riff that could. Oh, yeah. Be yeah. It's a black metal riff. Yeah, there's some black metal yeah. That could have fit on this album for yeah, sure. Like, true. so I guess you're right. Yeah. And that thermos dreaming or whatever on uh, in times. That's oh also a very God, black metal song. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I can <laughs> but, see what uh, you mean. Okay, like, but to break into the into the infinity okay, of let's thoughts, into thoughts, dude. What a prog journey, dude. This oh, song is yes. incredible. That's insane. It's, yeah. so, it's so good. good. <laughs> it's nine minutes, and it is always moving, and the riffs are always changing, and the keys, and oh, dude, yeah. it's su- it sets the t- atmosphere. It's oh, an yeah. awesome song, and I the song it. title, what a song title! Into the Infinity of Thoughts. Into the dude, Infinity it, of Thoughts. Heavy. Amazing <laughs> song title, dude. I love this song. I it's know, a, I it's love a it grower. Too. It's and it's such a like. It's a grower for you? It's a grower. It sucked for, me in right away. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I think it was a grower for me, so I agree with him. I think I liked it the first time I heard it, but I needed to, like, go back. But especially when that that part where the double bass first comes in, <laughs> it's like it's fucking gay. And the yeah. first time, the very first fucking time, you hear Ishan go, as the darkness creeps over the northern oh, mountains oh, of shit. Norway. That is, that the, is the epitome oh. of black metal. <laughs> Bro, if anyone's asked, for me personally, I, I mean, I've listened to, I mean, I'm not like a black metal guru, but I've done my time with Dark Throne, Enslaved, Emperor, you know, even fucking Gorgoroth and Bathory. But for me, this is, if you want to know what black metal is, this is, this is this what is black the metal track. is to me. I think this is black metal. It, it sets the tone for what it is that there is an orc like an an overbearing sense of like where they come from is in the sense that like uh, the atmosphere is there so you have those big keyboards yeah. like in the background but then you have like just constant pounding the satanic lyrics yeah you know what I mean the dark dark imagery and then just one guy with a scream like a goddamn banshee dude <laughs> you know what I'm saying like and like you said twist and turns. Awesome. Like, there's yes, so many dude. good riffs. Just when you think it's going to stop, it has that... I can, dude, there's no way I can even yeah, sing that great, part. But dude. That, that train, the second transition guitar riff. And oh, then go at that three-minute mark? Dude, that's Circle Pit. Sick, <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking awesome. And like I said, I think this is a genre-defining song. Like, this is black metal to me. I you love this I mean? song. And a Jay, lot of what do you think? I would yeah. concur on that, dude, for real. The yeah. song's fucking awesome, dude. What do you think? You love this song? Yeah, dude. You can, like, I'm not much into the black metal scene. The closest to me personally is like Death Heaven, and like I hear a ton You're of influence. You're gonna get slapped for that. Uh, I probably am, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I see a ton of influence from them. From oh, this. Yeah, yeah, it's insane, dude. And the, some of these riffs, man. But even just, you I said- just want a circle pit. And oh. then uh, as far as like, 
I got into this song right away, unlike Loki, which is comical to me. You guys said you found Loki easier to listen to. Yeah. Really? And I thought it was the opposite. No Just really? Shit. Yeah, it hooked me right away, dude. I thought you were going to like Loki more because it's, no it, way, it is more dude. guitar driven, whereas like it this is. one is like. The, sh- the symphony, the symphonic you like atmosphere. That? See, dude. you like, but you also like Cradle of Filth, which oh, I is love Cradle heavily Filth. Yes. inspired by Emperor. Yes, dude. Sure. I see the, <laughs> yeah. like, so they take marry that each death other. and shove it up your ass, dude. Okay. But Cradle, we can talk about yeah. Cradle because they, I think they marry closer. each other really well. Yeah, man. like it's crazy, man. Yeah. I, I really enjoy this song. I really do. The That's main riff is so killer. Too. There's one bad part about this song. What? Just one bad part. Oh no, here we go. One bad part. Here we go. He does two prolonged groans no dude the no. first one is what? so annoying I, no dude <laughs> it's no. horrible it adds it's it adds horrible depth. it adds dude, depth to the it's song it's so dude. annoying when he does that one scream that is like one of my favorite parts of this guy yeah I oh, hate that dude, part. <laughs> that's like a fucking like 15, 16, 17. I don't even know how long. Second it's a screen, long scream. And it's just like, holy And he does shit. another one later. Good. You need two of them? Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, dude. He's no. a banshee, dude. He's evil. That's the Black one. Meta. That's, Black <laughs> meta. That's the one knock that I have against this song. Wow. I don't need two prolonged groans of like, Thirty seconds combined. That's 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 what? Too, that didn't bother me at that's all. That's way too much. You, you know what part I also love though? We got and we got one by one. I love dude, it, that dude. That part is so yes. good. Under the moon, under the trees, into the infinity of darkness. Oh, it's, it's just so, so cool. good. <laughs> I the like name, those lyrics. Dude. I love it. Bro, I love that it. That one line is the best. In the name of yep. the Almighty Emperor, I will li- ride the lands in pride, <laughs> carrying the black sword at hand in warfare. Hard. Dude, let me be a part of that army. Let me man. be a part. <laughs> Ishan, I'm sold. I'm so Get sold. Get me a horse, dude. man. Sign me up, man. Sign me up. So, JJ, the, since the way that you're talking, do you think it's – do you have an easy pick then? For sure, man. For, For you, sure. it's into the – Oh, dude. That's – like, I haven't heard both of these albums. And when you when I read the description of black metal, blah, 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 whatever, like, this brings it to life, dude. You get like the mic every, a little closer. Yeah, there you go. Everything that, that we talk about with black metal, this is it. This is it. And yeah. I love this song, dude. It's okay. fucking awesome. Yeah. Will, what about for you? I was just going to uh, before before I go okay. to my pick with Loki, I, I I also really love like that Enslaved has always had the pagan theme and it's not that they're just trying to be evil. You're right. Like there is uh cuz when I read them I was like, "Oh, it must be about Loki and blah blah blah," but there's there's already signs like the future prog introspectiveness yeah. to it. Uh, especially with this, the the line, the salmon guides in the waterfall, the eagle sails with the wind, hammer groans and Jotun skull, the underground spurts fire. It's just like that speaks to me that they, Enslaved has always been on the same page since day one. Yeah, they went a little bit more introspective, but they stay really true to their pagan roots. Yeah, yeah. You know I, I, so I yeah, agree. This, this last line about Loki is awesome, though. Laughter, deceit, beauty, and contempt. The old Norse god's protector and leader of the Jotuns. The leader of the Jotuns. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, cool. that's yeah, man, pretty man. cool, dude. So I love. I think for me that the and it's not like, um, I think emperor's alluding to Satan. Obviously, like being the emperor. No, it's. But <laughs> I don't think there's any illusion. Yeah, no, it's clear. There's no it's, question it's pretty, about it's that. It's pretty clear. Uh, but I think that one. Uh, it's kind of worn off for me. Like it, here, here we are in 2019. I mean, the whole Satan vibe. It's like everyone's done and everyone's kind of thing. And we're here just judging these albums in 2019, right? Yeah, agree, like for yeah. me, the pagan theme goes further. Like because they want to get to their Norwegian roots than the fucking like we are in league with Satan, the devil. And then you go and ask, hey, do you believe in God? No, but we believe in the devil. It's like, well, you have to believe in both, don't you, dumbass? <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And I understand why they're doing it to be like the the counterculture. Nobody was doing it at that time. Well, well, I know they have they have morbid angel. No way, dude. They have Slayer, morbid angels. Yeah. Venom. There's so many yeah, that no, are doing I know, it. but like to go like this, like this whole record is like an homage to Satan. Oh, yeah. The yeah, entire yeah. record. Yes. I know, I know I know Venom too, but yeah, I guess Venom. Venom in League with Satan, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Even like, Bathory, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Bathory, Bathory for under sure. Under the sign of the dark mark. Yeah, under the I mean, sign of the dark mark. But I think this was kind of where it, 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 I'll speak to what you're saying. I think is that it. This is for me where it was perfected. I like. I can still get into the image. I I can't listen to Venom. <laughs> and to everyone out there, I'm sorry. That shit is so cheesy to me. I can't throw that on you and be like, oh, yeah, this is awesome. It's like it doesn't cut through me. Bathory, more or less. Dark I love Throne. Bathory. I like, Bathory's pretty banging, dude. I like Dark Throne a lot, uh, especially the first record. But uh, for Emperor, for me, like this 
it that evilness I, you feel it with the music so i feel like oh yeah satan <laughs> <laughs> awesome but at the so same, who are you going with so at the end of the day for 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 these two songs for me like i said i love oh, frost man. and Ooh. i love loki but into the night side eclipse oh is, no you're going with it no no for me this is the iconic black metal song a better way i think a little bit of a better way to start the album it's it's fucking incredible i i love both and i love enslaved a lot so it's hard for me to say this but I'm going to go with uh, Into the Infinity of Thoughts. Wow. I am also going to go with Into the Infinity wow. of Thoughts. Dang, clean, sweet. I love it. I love it. Clean, it's such a great song. It's Incredible. such a great song. Pentagram of Truth, Going to the Infinity of Thoughts. What a fucking classic song. And if you've never listened to black metal before, try this one out <laughs> and open your mind because you're going to go for a journey. This is a journey. It's going to blow your ears out. <laughs> exactly. So let's get to track number two, The Burning Shadows. What, what is it? The Burning, burning shadows, shadows of Silence. The Burning Shadows of Silence versus Fenris. Fenris. So, Woo, guys, let's start with... Fe- I'm going to start with Fenris. Glen Mother Northern. I love oh that. Castle and Fred. Dude, but like you know how you were talking about on the Ashes of the Wake? Yeah. You think that the only reason yeah. we like it is because it's in Norwegian? It doesn't oh, sound yeah. corny? No, it sounds uh, fucking awesome. It sounds Bro, so cool. Okay, here's yeah. my thing. Here's my thing. When everyone talks about... Hypocrites. It, like, Hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> here's my thing, dude. Okay, I don't understand... How, like, these guys say, like, oh, Emperor and uh, Dark Throne are true cult, and I never hear Enslaved. I'm like, guys, Enslaved is the truest. They have songs in Norwegian, dude. Yeah, like, they do. They don't give a fuck about English. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty incredible. Like, they do have songs in English later on. But I'm talking about this point in their career, and especially on Viking or Vingli or whatever that first album is. They stay true to They themselves. stay true, and this song is true, bro. I love that. that first. I love that whisper intro. I don't know. Oh, it just doesn't right. sound corny. And it gets you into the song, and then it goes into that triplet riff. Oh. Stop it. With the squealing. I just gotta say it, that, that riff definitely shows where they're going. Yes. And then they yes. That's what I'm saying. This is what I wanted to bring up with this song. Oh, yeah. But even the acoustic Fuck. transition. Yes. And then they go to that riff. Fuck. And then when Goulet comes in. He's <laughs> yeah. whatever he says in fucking Norwegian. Dude. I have the translated lyrics. I'm not going to go through them because it doesn't matter. Because this shit is yeah, true. It doesn't matter. It is true. This song's incredible. It's my favorite off the track, off the album. Really, yeah. Loki? Oh, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. Fenris. 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 Oh, is I think it's my favorite too, off the of Frost. Guys, what do you? I'm gonna I'm gonna just ask this question because it makes me laugh every time I hear this song. What is it? What, what do you guys think about the techno keyboards? That's what I wanted to I ask. I was it. like, what is that? What is <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, I thought it was like the dun, xylophone dun, 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 or something. <laughs> the drums are a the killer are in that killer. part. Why did they let this guy go, dude? <laughs> Who? That guy's awesome. He's the guy from Below the Light sucks. No, but Below the Lights, they couldn't find a drummer, so Evar drums, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why it's oh, a... Oh, okay. Yeah, and then they got Kato, and Kato's the man. So Kato's the man. Okay, Kato. but anyway, this drummer, he slams in the <laughs> yeah, triplets. Yeah, on that part. Amazing. Dun, dun. I love that part. That yeah, part it's so is much amazing. fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> that is a fucking awesome song. And I think maybe that's why people, I don't know, if they went back, and but they, it they're does. true cult. It's like... You're right, though, because it diminishes their evil. The, their yeah, evil presence. The evil presence. <laughs> Ooh, so spooky. Yeah, like, seriously. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Um, but I love this song, man. Start to finish, Fenris is just a fucking a slamming riffs, dude. Slamming slam riffs. riffs. Big riffs. That's the fucking butter, dude. Some of the triplet stuff that the drummer's doing is just yep. fucking awesome. And then they keep it evil. They keep it black to me besides that one techno part. But it really doesn't throw me off that much. I think it's a cut and like, it's an easy listening black metal song. I, like if someone was trying to transition into black metal, True. this might be a good start. Yep, I I, I agree. agree. You know yeah. I mean? It's it so has... much more guitar focused. Yes. Um, and for all those people who who love the Norse mythology, Fenris is the wolf. That okay, Loki. that oh, Loki, yeah. Loki's child. Yeah, Loki's child who ends up killing Odin at Ragnarok. Fuck. I mean, that's pretty heavy God, stuff, that's guys. Heavy stuff. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get much heavier than that. I'm just gonna say it right there. And I saw this song. When I saw them live in Chicago. Really? Oh, that's yeah. awesome, By the way, dude. can we break down? It was real, awesome. Can we talk about something real fast? You know that uh, at that Philadelphia Beer and Metal Festival, these guys are playing Frost. And I heard about that. That's full, right? Yeah, that's insane. God damn it, dude. I want to cool. see that shit so bad. Yeah, Especially Fenris, for this Fenris song. cut across live. Really? With that yeah. production that they have now? Oh, with fuck, this song? Dude, that'd be incredible. Be yeah, over, yeah when I saw them, this song shut it down live. It was awesome. Oh, my yeah. God. It was Seriously. awesome. I'm jealous. <laughs> So then let's go to the burning shadows of silence. 
Dude, this song's pretty fucking awesome. Oh, I know. And, and, and I don't want to take away from this song. It's such at all. a good it's song. It's a quick intro, heavy hitter. I mean, it goes it's straightforward. Yeah. It's a straightforward. And it starts really <laughs> yeah. quick, like the way the drums just kick in. And I think this one you can hear the guitar a little bit more, like a little bit more guitar centric. Like, yeah, it's Tremelo picking, but dude, the way it kicks off with Ishan scream and the duka 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 yeah. duka. It's atmosphere heavy. In this and don't song, you yeah. love that yeah. riff? Oh! No! No, no, no. <laughs> I fucking love, I love that. love that shit. Oh, yeah. my oh, oh. oh, my God. That shit's so fucking but after, awesome. But after that, ama- like, th- this is what makes me laugh about these songs. All these songs, I love the intros, and they start off so good. And then in the middle, they get kind of... They get a little dull, and then the whispering vocals, I'm not always into their whispering vocals. Yeah. Um, and, and I just feel like it gets a little dull. Yeah, this one's a little bland. This one's a little bland. After the intro, though, right? Because you yeah. love the intro. Oh, the intro's intro. great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It goes in, but that I mean, people really like that. For me, as a metalhead, like I, I need a little more, like, um, not variety. I just need more things going on, like more transitions instead of just grinding it out. Yeah, if that makes sense. For a long period of time. For we a long can, period we can of time. Do it for a little and bit. And that's why I love yeah. Fenris because there are a lot of fucking changes and there's a lot there's of things a lot going of tempo on. changes, dude. Yeah, that's there's great. a lot of shit going on in the song that's different than there's bigger riffs and stuff. And it's not like I don't like this song. I can get down with the black, bro. We can get black if we want to. But I'm saying in the regard to all metal, it's not like I don't think it's it's definitely overrated for sure. I'm what? Like, what this song? Like this kind of black metal where it's just it's just you go straight for it. Blast beat galore. <laughs> not a lot of changes. I think this song is a great one, but I think when you if you just continue that on, to me, that's not as good as like thrash or that's not as good as death if you have more transitions yeah. and stuff. Even some breakdowns and shit. Because yeah, Fenris has know. blast beats, but yeah. it includes double bass as well, which is awesome. Even dude. Into the Nights, Into the yeah. Infinity of Thoughts has a breakdown, dude. Yeah. There's yeah. like, you know, there's substance to the song. That's why it's so fucking good. Because, yeah, I would say this one has a, this one does still carry that mood and atmosphere through the middle of the song, which is really cool. It's just, it's much more calm, I guess, because of the pianos are very just like, yeah. somber the whole time and the riff is just kind of doing the same thing there's not yeah. a lot of changes mm-hmm. with the with the with the picking yeah and it um so i i kind of agree and disagree at the same time like because I, I do like there's something about this emperor record that i love that the whole thing is it feels like one piece it's the atmosphere yeah. it feels dude. one thing because the way they do the 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 piano i actually really do yeah. love it Actually, I forgot. There is a slowdown part of this song, yeah. like, like the three-minute mark. But it's kind of like the same notes, but they do slow it down and they groove a little bit more. But, uh, but the whispering vocals, I don't love yeah. them. I hate the whispering vocals on I this know. track. And then, but, then, but then they bring the back the... Oh, yes, that oh, riff is amazing. Which is fucking <laughs> yeah. awesome. That riff's but amazing. I think it's pretty clear who I'm going with on this one. Yeah, yeah I think all of us... Clear cut it's clear-cut. For me, Fenris is just another level. I mean, I love how good that song is. Like it, it, And for me, it's probably the best song on Frost. Agreed. Right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For Loki's sure. fantastic, and there's there's a couple other ones in the ending that I think are really good, but I fucking love Fenris. It's amazing. It's such a good song. So the pentagram yeah, of Fenris. truth is going to Fenris. Get Easy. Up. I don't Easy. think it, I think Burning Shadows is pretty damn good, though. No, no, no. It's a good song. I think it's better than uh, some of the other ones. It's better than some of the last. It's better than some of the B-sides. Yeah, that's uh, uh, definitely for sure. Yeah. I guess we'll get to that. So let's move on to track number three. Savarte Vider versus Cosmic Keys to my dude. dude. Cosmic, Cosmic Keys, Keys what bro. a banger, awesome. dude! <laughs> this song intro, is incredible. Man. Go ahead. Such a strong intro. Thirty-three seconds in, man. Let's open up. Oh Let's yeah, just that first Jamela pick. Up, baby. The fills are great in this song, dude. They're it's so amazing. Good. Dude, the guitar work is awesome, man. There's some good riffs. Uh, I don't know, man. It's just it's just fucking heavy. Yeah, this one, like I said, I can especially the way they start the guitar off, you can hear it cut there's, through just a little bit more. There's so many good guitar riffs, like that one. Sa- yeah. You get a bunch of change ups. Oh yeah, fucking, fucking killer. A lot of change yeah. up in this song. And then it's oh. so good. Stop it. This song's amazing. Yes. This is I, this is this might be my favorite song. That's on, really on, on, on this is my favorite song. song off too. With the, wah. <laughs> yeah, dude, shit. it's such dude. a. It's always Atmosphere moving. I, the ending has like an outro around five minutes, and it's just so good. I love. There's nothing. I love this song. This song's Cosmic Keys. Yeah, I, I think yeah, same here. I think it's definitely an underrated song on this album. 
Because everyone talks about Inno Satana. I this is the better than Inno Satana. Oh, I, I think don't so hear too. It. Absolutely. I think that's what I'm saying. It's under. I don't want to hear it. When yeah. people are like, Inno Satana, uh, I, I am the Black, Black Wizards. Wizards. This is way yeah. better than Black Wizards. That's what I'm saying, dude. This is the <laughs> most underrated song in the album. Dude, I this love is one of this my song. Favorite. I think this is my second favorite song. Now. Okay. Oh, second I love favorite this song. This is my personal this is, favorite. I think this is my favorite song. Yeah, dude. I this fucking love this song. Every time I go back to it, it's just a pleasure to put on. As soon as you hear it, like, fuck, this song smacker. It's a fucking smacker. Macker, dude, it's so good. It's so good. And the good. drumming's just fantastic. I don't know what that drummer's name is, but he's fucking that he's Faust a, or something, I yeah, think. Yeah, he's right? a god, dude. The stamina on that guy. Yeah, Faust is the drummer. I love that part. Always moving, dude. It's always moving. It's such a good song. Yeah. This is a song too. I feel like if you're um more of a maybe more of a traditional metal fan or uh you're not really into black metal. This is a song I think you should put you on because this, cause this yeah. is a banger. Like, yeah. I, I, there, I mean, this is just a banger. Yeah, like, there's transitions in this, and yeah. it has the atmosphere, mm-hmm. and it's still banging riffs. Yeah, exactly. You know, and great drumming, not just like, uh, not just blast beating the whole time. A lot of good drum change ups. Yep, which yeah. is always a good thing to look for. And the lyrics are hilarious. <laughs> All the lyrics on this oh, record just, are I ridiculous. Oh, they're so over the top. They're so <laughs> over the top. I mean, you, towards the end of the album, you're like, oh my god, okay, I get it. All right, I got it. <laughs> You love Satan. We're going to the darkest places imaginable. I know. It's just hilarious. Like, I will realize planets age old created by a ruler with a crown of dragon claws. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, check this one out. This one's our pretty good. A crown of dragon claws. So fucking this one's emo. Pretty, this one's pretty good. All, all, these, yeah. all these landscapes are timeless, and this is all just a part of the cosmos, but all is mine, and past and future is yet to discover. Much have been discovered, but tomorrow... I realize Shit. I will realize I existed before myself. I will be reborn before I die. I mean, those are pretty. Those cool are good lines. lyrics. Yeah, no, I really like the <laughs> lyrics cool. of the song. That's why I brought them up. But that <laughs> the crown of dragon claws can't fuck around <laughs> with that's that. That's so comical, dude. dude. Bro, are we? Even, this is just Viking heaven right here, man. Like, I love <laughs> these these two bands for sure. But uh, let, I, I, let's move on to uh, Savardi Veter. Um, I dude, good intro riff. Good intro riff, and I love that. What? That I'm the opposite. I wasn't feeling that first riff, dude. What? Really? No, the tremolo. No. Dun, 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 no, I'm not a fan of that one. And not, I love not that first riff. No, I really? disagree with you on that. I like the double bass pattern and yeah. that. Uh, Grootley, like he's also the bassist of the band. He, that he tremolo picks up too fast. Like, like a, he's tremolo picking yeah. too. So you got like harmonies going Do on. Do you like the riff at cool. one minute? Yeah, I love that. That's that one's okay. What? I don't know, man. I just I, first thing, I don't feel this song. I don't feel this. Song, I don't know, dude. dude Will, what wrong. about that one riff at two minutes? Oh, banger! And plus, can that we talk about the awesome. atmosphere that comes? Ooh, like, there's like the yeah. choral yeah. thing in the background. Of, yeah. I don't know. They all play that riff, dude. No, but what about that one breakdown riff? That breakdown riff oh, is awesome. Oh, that three minute, yeah. That was, ah, dude. There's something about this song I'm just not a fan of. That riff's awesome. It seriously is. There's some great guitar riffs here. There are, and once again, it's just more a little bit more guitar driven than some of the other Emperor songs. But I don't think Cosmic Keys. I don't think it is compared to Cosmic Keys like more guitar driven, but just compared to the Emperor album. But once again, it's just more good black metal stuff. And Goulet has some great bass parts on this song. Okay. Like when they're doing the tremolo, but like, and they're doing that riff, Goulet's doing this badass thing on his bass. Okay. So I, didn't I love that, that shit. I, I think it's a great song. And for me on the Emperor thing, wow, I, if I can song. barely hear the guitars, there's no way I'm hearing the bass, dude. I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I'm not trying to be a dick about it. I mean, sure, if I listen with better headphones and really focused, I could find it. Uh, I don't what think so. Is, <laughs> yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is Google has some great cut through parts on this. And of course, you know, I love his voice. But I will say that the ch- like at around five minutes, there's like chance. It's OK. And then like 645, it goes into like a new section, but it doesn't really it's build just not that necessary. much. And then why is this song nine minutes? Yeah, yes, this song dude. should not be nine. That's this song saying. does it's not need to be played. nine minutes. It is overplayed. I think if if yeah. this song was a good like five or six, it would have been bad ass. Well, Agreed. I mean, the lot. drumming on this is fucking awesome. Oh, dude. it's phenomenal. Yes. It cuts through so yeah. well. He does well on the drumming. But on the riffs, I, I'm just not a fan, dude, personally. Yeah, there's just more yeah. tremolo picking black metal yeah. riffs. But there's, I think, the, I like some of the production because when he does the higher notes, it sounds like it's squ- like the guitar is squeaking, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it just sounds fucking awesome. I love the way it. I love that breakdown riff. I could listen yeah. to that riff all the time. I love For it. For sure. I love it. They end on that riff too. I just love that riff. It's oh, such it's, a cool riff. 
Butter. You like it a lot? I do. I really love it. But I think the song's way too long. I don't know why the fuck it's nine minutes. <laughs> yeah. I do not understand <laughs> why this is ridiculous. nine minutes. That's a little ridiculous. Yeah. And I, like I said, once again, I'm going to reiterate because they bring it back towards the end. The, the, the use of the synths when it comes back, I really like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that part. It's so dope. But uh, in comparison to it's Cosmic, beating Keys, Cosmic Keys. Come on, dude. No. I to gotta, me, this is a joke. No, it's, it's a not joke? a joke. Tell me that's it's a, joke, a joke, It's a dude. clear winner. I think it's a clear winner, but it's not a joke, dude. Svarty wow. Beater is, is a really I cool I disagree with y'all, man. Complete joke. <laughs> <laughs> Complete joke. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. But with that being said, I'm going to go with Cosmic Keys. Like you said, most underrated song on this fucking album, for sure. I have all these black metal fans that talk about how much they love Emperor. I've never heard them mention Cosmic Keys I to know, my creations right? and times. Isn't that insane? I listen to uh, I Am the Black Wizards. Suck a dick, dude. Because this song smacks, bro. <laughs> dude, exactly. Smacks. It destroys I Am it Black Wizards. It destroys it, dude. It's one of the best. If I was going to see this album in its entirety, this is the song I want to see. Yep. Like, because oh, you know they're not going to bust it out. Absolutely, dude. It's fucking awesome. And just to, just to make a little story to, uh, real fast before we start actually about seeing them live. Eric and I actually did go see them at Vakken. Fuck yeah. So we have seen Emperor, uh, and they we saw them play uh, uh, what the fucking uh, Anthems to the Welcome at Dusk, which is, we should do that compared to this. That'd be fun. That would be a good debate, too. And they played I Am Black Wizard and, and Inno, Inno Santana. They finished with Inno Satana. That's and pretty and cool. They were both great, but I think some of the songs off Anthems at the Welcome are way better. Than those two than songs, those two, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know about Cosmic Keys. Cosmic then, Keys is amazing. Live, Enslaved, we've seen twice. I've seen twice. JJ's seen twice. Yeah, I've seen twice. Eric's seen, seen three, three times. times. Three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've seen Enslaved a little bit more. And oh, Enslaved is badass, dude. They're fucking... I love them. I, I love, love Enslaved. Them. Yeah. They're, they're one of the best. But they don't They don't really play as much... The both times I saw them, they didn't, cut, they didn't do a lot of the black metal... The early stuff. They did more of the contemporary... Enslaved yeah, I saw a, yeah. I've, I saw a headline set, and that's when I, they played Fenris. Yes. That's why they played Fenris. Exactly. So me and JJ haven't seen no, them. No, we haven't seen Headline. Black Metal era. No. But, and, but, but both we, times no. you saw them at su- as supporting bands. Support bands. Yeah. One with the Monomarth and the other with... Uh, BT Bam, oh. shut it down, oh, boy! Yeah. Bam, yeah. what a <laughs> that was pretty good show. <laughs> we got to do concert tales for the people out there, man, because that was a great show. And in two, no, in two was a Monomarth the second yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Never, mind. <laughs> Never mind, but anyway... An Emperor Live, some dude, Black Metal Live is. You always go, huh? I wonder how this is gonna translate. It translated. It translates real. After yeah. seeing, okay, because I've also we've all seen Abbott, and Abbott when he did uh, the oh. Decibel tour. Oh, stop! Abbott that was. shit sounded amazing. <laughs> live, yeah, dude. Was and the strobe killer. lights when it goes, it sounds awesome because he was busting out the Immortal songs. Fuck, <laughs> fuck, it sounds good. And, uh, and for anyone out there, if you ever get the chance to see Emperor, go do it because they the stage show was amazing. They There's were really good. And, they were really fucking good. I was surprised. I really didn't think it was going to translate. Because the guitars cut through more. The guitars live. cut through more. Yeah. Exactly. So That's badass. Which it's we'll really get to at the through. end, but. Yeah. Yeah, we'll Ooh. talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, track, let, uh, that was on a tangent. I just had to let everyone out there know that, <laughs> yes, we've been, we've been to Mecca. We've been to Mecca. And it was, <laughs> Mecca is Vakken, and it was, it was the greatest day of my life. Greatest week of my life. So Cosmic Keys gets the pentagram of truth. Let's go on to track number four, which uh, is Idrisil versus Beyond the Great it's Vast a joke. Forest. I feel so bad, but it's yeah, a joke. Yeah, this is a joke. It's dude. a joke. I mean, yeah. okay. The, okay, let's start with Idrisil because okay. obviously it's going to go to Beyond the Great Vast Forest. But I think speaking to the theme of the album being pagans and, and going back to their roots in, Norweg, uh, in Norway, that they did a song that's traditional Norwegian folk music. I think that's yeah. really cool. Is it supposed to be traditional? Yeah. Norwegian you should check music? out that Ivar does this song with like a Norwegian folk band now and they oh. sing in Norwegian and dude, it's, it's really cool that he composed this. Okay. And that, uh, so Ivar is a big proponent of like Norwegian history. And yes. He's actually like some kind of ambassador in Bergen about the history of like pagan uh, ancestry. And so they did like a little festival where people come and play folk music. And he did this song with folk musicians. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it is written to be a folk uh, Norwegian song in the sense that it's, you know, a little bit deeper. So I'm going to speak to that in the sense that if we're not just thinking of a metal standpoint, just like a musical standpoint, it's cool that they brought that in the album and they change it up completely. And And it builds up in the end. It does. And, um, sorry, Yggdrasil is the tree of oh, all life. The tree of all life. And Odin hangs himself there to gain wisdom. 
the sacrifice of himself to himself. Go read about it. It's hilarious. <laughs> That's insane. Yes. Yes. This is this is the Norse mythology. <laughs> and the lyrics. So because Odin is it. God, right? Yeah. So Odin is God, but then he sacrifices himself to the gods. Yeah. That's sacrificing to himself. Yeah. It, go read about it. It's hilarious. He gets the wisdom from the runes and becomes the wisest being that the universe. Oh my God. Sacrifices his eye, bro. So it's pretty cool, oh. man. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, and then, it, you know, <laughs> if you, if, when you read the lyrics of the song, they go perfectly ar- around with that story. You know, the first, uh, the first fucking line is, I know that I hung in the wind cold tree nine whole nights with hurt point to, to Odin given self given, given to, to myself. myself. In that tree, which yep. nobody knows from which roots it ran. Holy so, shit. So, really <laughs> awesome <laughs> pagan Norse mythology, which, once again, I'll say it, that was in Slaves' uh, mission statement from their first album to their fucking most recent album. Yeah, now. right? So, it they've really been is. there. Yep. Yeah. They've done that. That's who they are, and I love it. I That's think they're true, true they to themselves. They stay true to themselves. That's but, true. as a song, this isn't Havenless. It's not Havenless. No, no, no. <laughs> this it's, is not a yeah. great chant song. It's not Sacred Horse. I love Sacred Horse. I think that's a cool uh, pagan song. There's a lot of cool pagan songs they've written. Yeah, the, in, in Burning oh. with Fire, don't they don't they do the don't they do the chants in the middle? I think. Yeah, but they let's, do a breakdown. Let's let's talk about the sequel. Return to Idrisil on Issa. <laughs> oh. That song so, is a smacker. That's, yes. I wonder if it follows the same lyrical It themes. does, dude. Oh, okay. that that's pretty is, cool. And that's one of my favorite songs off Issa. That song fucking slays, dude. <laughs> Return Issa's to Idrisil awesome. is way better than Idrisil itself because it's more metal. But uh, let's... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, it's a cool oh, rap, but yeah. it's pleasing. It's a pleasing, it's pleasing song. It's a pleasing song. It, I, I mean, to it, me, it throws off the album. But like, if it's just a song itself it's not bad dude i like it yeah I it like picks it. up yeah and like as a gamer like <laughs> it reminds me of the witcher 3 i don't know if you oh, guys ever yeah. play that but it, it goes along with it really well well definitely i mean it's uh, geographically the witcher's yeah. i think based in like uh, north Euro- european yes, roots, yes so it's definitely gonna have kind of the same uh like folk influences in the music so yeah i, I can totally tell yeah. but it, it also- was pleasing to listen to like it, it's a, it's different from the whole yeah blast beats exactly. in your face and it's I don't know. I like it. It I takes you away like a little it. bit. Yeah. But moving on. Oh, to the great vast forest beyond the great Fuck, vast forest. It starts banging, dude. I know. Can, can we can, <laughs> can we talk about the song title? I don't. It might be a translation thing because I know there are a couple uh, yeah, parts in the album where you can see the lyrics. There's definitely a translation issue. But I just love the. It's beyond the great vast forest. Like is it great <laughs> and vast kind of the same? I don't know. Yeah. But don't know. it starts off banging. It's a little odd. It but starts off with this, and once again, the choir's oh, it's so brutal, dude. It has a great start. It's a brutal start. And man. I love the way the, the drummer manipulates the tempo of the first because he has that really fast intro, but then he brings yeah, it back. Yeah, then a it slows bit. down a yeah. bit. Yeah, and I like that. It's a pretty good song, dude. I like it. It's a good song, and it's a it's a clear winner. Um let's talk about it like compared to other songs on this album, though. Because I, it's not it's middle than, tier. It's a middle sorry. tier. I love that riff at two minutes because the piano is like building in the. Yeah, I like that too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah. So cool. Would you, would, okay, here's a good one. Would you, I like this song a lot. This is a great song. Is it better than Towards the Pantheon? Oh, Ooh. I don't know about that. I'll tell you what, it's better than Night Sky. Really? Better than Night Sky. And I might even take it over Black Wizards. But Whoa. we'll get to that later. I might even take it over I take Black it over Wizards. Night Sky. I take it over Night Sky. And I, I might take it over Burning Shadows, which I love Burning Shadows, but. I really like this. I take it over Burning Shadows. Yeah, because I like the grooves of the drummers. Like you yeah. said, the two-minute mark, and then he really slows it down, and you're grooving out. To me, so, this is a middle tier. Middle tier. Middle I agree tier, with that. Yeah, because yeah, like yeah. you said, I think I – it's so It's hard. middle, but that's because the top ones are really, really fucking good. <laughs> oh, and then top. when it comes to that – Yeah, dude. Oh, and then it does, and then it, yeah, and then after that, it goes into that cool piano. I love that piano riff. Yeah, I fucking love it. Exactly. It's so I don't cool. Know if I take it over Burning Shadows when I think about I it. I would. That riff really? is fucking awesome, dude. It's such a good riff. That's it doesn't, a hard it one. doesn't slow down. It's like always going. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's a little bit faster that I like it's it. It's up yeah. tempo, dude. It's like up tempo. Really yeah. up tempo. I really love this. Yeah, but it does slow down a little bit. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. I just love this song. It's a banger. Yeah, it is a banger. There's, there's just so many good parts to it. And like I, said, <laughs> it I think it shows a little bit more of the diversity. Like I said, I'll say it like four times with the drumming that he he manipulates the tempo beyond the just the, the constant blast beating of of Emperor. There and there's that double bass part too. Fuck, I forgot about that. Where it slows down, and it's getting heavier and and yeah, the fucking like that's the piano riff that you're talking about. Yes. On the bottom end, he's doing the 
the fucking double bass I sounds love great. that riff. <laughs> but yeah, so that one's a clear winner over Idrisil. So yeah, Pentagram Truth be, goes to the Beyond the Great Vast Forest. And I love that song. I think it, I think it is mid, but I think it might be like number four or five. It's it's fighting for towards the Pantheon. It's fighting it. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> it's right there. It's a war. It's a battle it's a between war. those two for me. So let's move on to track number five, which is right. Jotun Blood. We're halfway. We got to do the album. Oh, covers. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. We are halfway. Do we even guys. have to talk about it? Let's Look at this. Before. This is the best album well, well, cover. Well, let's hold them up. Let's hold them up. <laughs> We're talking about Enslaid and Fra. Oh, we got the vinyls up here at the Debate Dude, and Destroy that's table. Oh, so this is one of the best metal. Into the Nightside Eclipse is one of the best metal album covers ever. It's I, amazing. Ever. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's okay, so, so dark, man. I, I have the reissue vinyl of Frost, which has the Enslaved logo and Frost on it. The original is literally just the landscape. No, I don't think so. I think it is. I'm, pu- I'm looking at it. It either is just the landscape or it just says Frost. It doesn't have the Enslaved logo on it. It does. This Dude, one does. The one that I'm that seeing. That is so corny. The back? Oh, JJ's looking the at the back. The one that I'm showing has it. No, no, that's not the original, dude. I don't think. I think the original is literally just the. I don't yeah, know. either way, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. This is one of the best album yeah, covers Emperor's ever. Emperor's is so fucking cool. Wait, let me see the backs of both. Uh, the back of Emperor. <laughs> the backs of Emperor's is whole way. Both of them are whole. Both of them are hilarious. No, dude, this, Emperor's the trying back to back is better. No, dude, he's trying to be some black wizard. Look at him. Look at Ishan. Ishan looks like <laughs> that one's better than <laughs> Look Ishan, Ishan looks like a. Is he gonna cast a spell? Why is his hands? He's gonna out? cast a spell. Okay, dude. guys, he's wearing like a Darth Sidious's robes, <laughs> and he has his hands out like he's about to cast electricity. Dude, this- with one eye showing. Dude. He has black makeup on Emperor's it. is better than this. Look at this. Enslaves is hilarious. Dude, no. Grudel looks amazing. <laughs> okay. G- Grudel looks like hilarious because they're in full armor. And then look at Ivar. Ivar e- looks bad. He's got a whip. He looks like he's about to get... That looks bad. Okay, that looks like some homoerotic... That like, does. Like who bondage shit. I don't even know. It's look at gr- Trim. Look at him holding that sword, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. But... I'm gonna go with Into the Night Side Eclipse is the easy winner. Let me see, winner. dude. Let me. See. I gotta look at this album cover again. I mean, dude, look at all the details. Oh, check out Samoth. Who's Samoth in the band? Is he the keyboardist? Because he's burning like a goat's head in his picture. That's nice. pretty brutal. Samoth is rhythm guitar. Rhythm guitar. Samoth. E- Ishan plays keyboards. Oh, Ishan. Oh man, that's a big dude. Hit. But look at the detail. I mean, you got the mountains. No, we've got yeah. this evil thing. We've got gremlins. We've got twisted trees. No, it's easy. Yeah, we, look at the moon. We got this thing coming out of the moon. This is amazing. It's the most evil looking album cover. And w- okay, I might like Anthems to the Welcome of Dust better. Than- no, stop it. Okay, we have to get into that. We'll get into that. <laughs> stop it. We'll have to get into that. But the album cover by this Into the Nightside is way better than Anthems yeah. to the Welcome of oh, Dust. Oh, I thought you meant the album cover. For no, the no, the one. music, no. the music. Oh, but okay. the album cover is a clear winner. It's there's, a, yeah. there's a fucking waterfall. Dude, this is incredible. I it's love evil. this one. Dude, it looks like fucking Lord of the Rings. Like, it looks, it looks like, like Lord Sauron's of the Rings. Tower. It really does. It does. It's so badass. Maybe that was some other inspiration. Love that. That is black metal, dude. This album is black metal. But <laughs> anyway, right, sorry. We'll so back. black metal to its <laughs> core. <laughs> I know. So Enslaved lost the album cover. But I, okay, talking to Enslaved, you know, if they're going for their Norwegian roots, it makes sense to just take a picture, a beautiful oh, picture of the fjord. Yeah. I, I still like it, but Into the Night Side is just better, especially compared to other Enslaved album covers in, in the next like three that they have. So bad. Like uh, Eld is uh, terrible. Eld is hilarious. Uh, Moran, Morandum in. Uh, yeah, that one's that really one's bad. bad. Below the lights is pretty cool, but I still like hey, the. It's okay. The yeah. later ones get better. I like Issa. Yeah, I like Vertebrae. Get, yeah. Oh, you Once, forgot Bloodhelm, which is hilarious. Oh, Bloodhelm is so <laughs> funny, <laughs> dude. With them, on the, <laughs> I mean, that still speaks that to what they're trying cool. to accomplish. Eld is the funniest. Eld with is Gula terrible. Just in the throne, <laughs> in his goblet. Morandum is terrible. Monumentum is terrible. Yeah. Below the lights actually is. Considering rest the rest of them, but all of emperors are not that good e- either. Hold on, I'm going. I want to see emperors. I forgot. Anthems to the welcome of dust, equilibrium, or whatever that fucking one's called. I don't called. like anthems. That album. Yeah, I don't weird. like anthems either. Equilibrium sucks. I don't even think it's called equilibrium. Why is it? It's, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one sucks. And Prometheus is Prometheus bad is kind of whack. This is definitely the best Emperor album cover. But yeah, so Emperor won the album covers. Let's move on to track number five, which is Jotun Blood. Versus towards the Pantheon. Ah, oh, I hate to say it. This is easy. Really? Yeah, is it towards here. the Pantheon? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I don't know, towards man. Towards the Pantheon. I'm going to stick up for Jotunblood a little bit, guys. Ooh. Because... Ooh, I don't know. 
dude. There's a couple reasons. It's just slams in your face, and I love the starting the weenie, da 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 da, da weenie. I like the I start, it. but the main riff just doesn't hit me. Yeah, really? It's kind of this is for know. sure the most up tempo song on the album for me. Yeah, I like, like it's it. just straightforward, dude. But there's something that I really love. That about drummer this. has stamina. Like, oh yeah, he does. Fucker. He's a bad fucking drummer, dude. He's <laughs> like, or like drum, badass. He's a bad to drum drummer. that much through like nonstop. The yeah. whole song is insane. Yeah. I just yeah like the 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 grind or not the grind I don't say grind but the black one apart like the when uh and then when the drums actually change to that like did that did that did that did that like that stutter's sick but there's one reason I fucking love the song it's Gootlay screaming yo dad blah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are cool dude that just gets me to my core man I don't know why I fucking love it yeah. I can throw the song on the bass shines a little more in this song too yeah for yeah, sure yeah and. I think this is the best demonstration of how far Gutlay can push his voice because he's got some really long screams in it. Yeah. And for me, it translates really well. And, of course, I'm just a sucker for anything that has to do with Jotun's. Yeah, so uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the chorus is so cool. All life has its origins in a source of Jotun blood, your mind's own e- evil inner Jotun blood. Meaning, oh. like, you know, like humans are impure. You're not pure God. Yeah. You're not part of, like, the top gods yeah. you know you're a mix of evil and, and good, good yeah. that's awesome i mean it's a great lyrics dude yeah i love yoden blood man i i think it's it, loki it's, is the mix of both as well yeah mm. i think maybe musically like you said guitar riffs aren't the best but i do like the one part where it's like more of a stopping riff like and then it has the keys coming in i don't know man i love this song for me for that <laughs> it's not my favorite song. It's a though. top. It's a higher tier song on this. No, album. Really? I don't I think, think it's so, bottom dude. tier, man. I think I it's like bottom. It a lot, man. Yeah. I think I it's the bottom. Drumming. There's another one that's the worst, but I like the synths. Yeah, and then like I said, Gula's voice is just. But awesome. let's get in towards the pantheon, dude. Let's that clean build oh, and yeah. the atmosphere is the oh, whole God. song. That's song so eerie, man. You just want to chill the whole time to this song. It's yeah. so cool. And you're just vibing out. Yeah. I love this song. And I just watched a YouTube video of them playing it live, I, I think at Bakken in like uh, 2006 or seven, And it's it kills. Really? Oh, yeah, it kills. And Ishan's voice was spot on that day. But uh, yeah, man, like you said, the, the, the intro is definitely much different than all the other songs. Oh, yeah. The Night's Eclipse. It starts with a big build and then gets into a song that's just yeah. like oh, another fucking ripper, another yeah. black metal. Yeah, and it's just smack. very like open. And then it builds again at three minutes, and then it goes back to like the open. I, it's I, relentless, I man. Really it's a relentless song. pace. Yeah. It's yeah. a great song, dude. Yeah, it's a great song. I I <sighs> it keeps you I put a, I put a mid tier, maybe bottom mid tier on that. No, on, this is not the bottom. Music. Again, because dude, we're gonna get to Night like, Sky and Black Wizards, but because I like I am Black Wizards in Osatana better. I like uh, I do Cosmic too. Keys. You I like, like Black Wizards towards better. Pantheon over that. Black Wizards. We're, I'm gonna wait till that one, but really, you're not Black a fan Wizards of that got song. a total pass, dude, and where it's located in the track list. <laughs> total pass. Oh my god, I, I would have shredded it against half the songs on Frost. Really? But it got Wotan. Wotan's pretty cool, dude. We'll get there. That song's. The worst. Really? On the whole record. I think it's the worst, but I don't think it's horrible. No, it's not horrible. It's the worst song on the record. It's <laughs> the worst song on either record. If you take away Idrisil, yeah. I'll, I'll listen to Idrisil more than I listen to Wotan. Okay, yeah. I, I think yeah, I agree Idrisil's with that, too. fun. What are you talking yeah. about, dude? Yeah, Wotan. Okay, so anyway, so back to the Pantheon. But, Pantheon, I think, yeah, and it, is amazing. Dude, uh, Ishan's intro scream. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. It's so oh, good. This is a great song, and it's it's a little bit more... I think it's more prog here. I don't think yeah, it's a straight It has ripper. that build-up yeah. riff in the middle of the song. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, and it's really good. And um, no, man, I, it's just, like I said, it's just relentless, and it's fun. <laughs> it's a fun song to me. <laughs> I don't think anyone in the world is going to agree that any of these songs from Ember are. <laughs> oh, fun. I find them fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm evil. Guess I'm evil. <laughs> loco. That's why I call him loco. He's a little crazy. I know what you're saying though, because like I was playing these at work. And they make you just want to like sway, dude. Like, yeah. like in the fucking <laughs> dude, little like, dance going I, on. That's what I'm gonna go on. A, I well, love I'm not gonna it. go on a rant. I just don't understand how this is okay, but cradle, so, cradle isn't. But whatever. I guess that's a rant production. for a different day. That's a rant for a different yeah. day, guys. <laughs> but anyway, it makes you sway. Like some of the songs make you want to dance because of the keyboards. Yeah, like they make you feel that way. Yeah. So you could totally tell that Danny took that and just ex- uh, uh, like built upon that feeling. Same with Demu Borgir. It's yeah. the same shit. But yeah. I love Whatever. it. Yeah, yeah, because I was listening to it on my desk, yeah. and there's like the parts where it opens up, 
Yeah. And, but the keyboards are doing like this really yeah, cool. Yeah, it makes you sway, dude. Oh, it makes yeah. you sway. I love it. <laughs> exactly. It's really cool. And I like the variety because I love the clean intro here. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit, it's a much different song than Cosmic Keys. It really is, yeah. Much different than Cosmic yeah. Keys. So I really love Towards the Pantheon. Yeah. So I guys, think it's a yeah, mid tier, there's a lot upper mid tier. What are you guys going with? Oh, for oh sure. to the Pantheon. Yeah. Really? For sure. Uh, guys, I'm going with the Oaten Blood. That's, that's so, insane. That's I so can't dumb. believe you're Sorry, guys. That. I love... I don't know what it is, man. If I just be the roots, but... <laughs> the I roots. fucking love the Oaten Blood, dude. That shit gets me going. Okay. I want to open the pit to that song. That was one if they... when I, If I saw them play the whole thing in the entirety, I would go fucking ape shit. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, show that blood. <laughs> but okay, so Towards the Pantheon gets the pentagram of truth, which brings us to track number six, which this is... This one's a battle. This one is a battle. I agree uh, so I'm going to try my best to pronounce it on the enslaved one. It's Glyphaglinin. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't even want to try that. G-L-F-A-G-I-N-N-I-N-G. Glyphaglinin. I, I have no idea. I'm, that's my best thing. Versus the majesty of the night sky. Yep. So let's just start with the enslaved one. Yeah. This is such a banger. It really is. This it's a great is fucking yeah. song. Such a banger. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That opening riff is amazing. And it's nice and slow. It's not just like, you know what I mean? It's a building and it's kind of like that more yeah. uh, archaic sound, like dun 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 goo. Oh my god. Yeah. Gosh. I love that shit. Then it goes into that riff, dude. Stop. Yeah. It. And that sounds like he's just like scraping the guitar. I love it. You really feel the emotion come out of you. Can we speak to Eva? Double bass it. Double oh bass it. God. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes. I love this. And then that's like song. a uh, windmill headbanging riff oh, that it goes into. Yes. Guys, can we talk about Eva for a second? He wrote all this shit at like 17 years old. Amazing. The dude is That's one of the just... most underrated. F okay, because everyone talks about Ishan. Everyone does. And it's not that I'm saying Ishan's overrated or anything. But I'm like, we need to give some love to Ivar. He's we need amazing. to make a fucking, a fucking, uh, what's it called? A Patreon just to <laughs> Ivar to keep creating music. Because this guy has been a fucking bad motherfucker since he was like 16, That's 15 just years old. Writing songs like this at 15, 16, 17 years old? He's crazy, dude. That's He's insane. amazing. Yeah, they're yeah. goes really well. He is There's a only a couple guys. And look where he went. Look where he I know. went. If we talk about careers, it's... I don't care what anyone says out there. Inslade has the way better career. Yeah, that's a landslide to me. Yeah. It's a landslide. Oh. Even if you consider Ishan's work, I'll fucking Dastly Bretchen Arctis and whatever the new one is by Ishan, Emir, versus the three newest enslaved. It's not oh, even close, come on, dude. Yeah, dude. In Times, Ritter, and uh, e. e, not even close. Uh, I wasn't a fan of E, though. Me either. <laughs> whatever. We'll leave that for a different day for a Will. But even so, I could go, I I'd fucking take anyone. Dude, down there's only a couple of guys that you would give that, like, prodigy like there's only a couple dudes that i can even think of off the top of my head yeah. i'm like james hetfield was like 19 with kill them all yeah you got matt heafy doing ascendancy at 19 18 yeah what the fuck hey, well, how the are these guys demo, writing these the first songs by hippie was or hippie was uh uh was he? he's like 16. super young yeah how are these guys writing these songs at that age they're That's bad amazing. motherfuckers dude they're bad motherfuckers this guy's yeah, a bad but this guy is the one of the baddest. He, to me, we talk about metal legends and icons. To me, this is a black metal icon who does not get the fucking respect that he deserves. And I'm sick of it, dude. Okay. I guess they went too proggy that the black metalers don't like. I don't, I don't give know. a yeah, fuck. We over here talking about Necro Butcher? Dude, Necro Butcher <laughs> can suck Ivar's dick. I'm going to say it right here and right now. Okay? I, whatever. I can get down to Mayhem and, the like, uh, what's that one album? The fucking biggest one. The Churching, the Freezing Moon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's whatever D Mysterious. Yeah, no, no, the Freezing Moon one. I, I don't even think I've heard no. of the D Mysterious. But anyway, fucking Ivar. I, gotta, I can go on a rant, but I'm going to back him up. He's a metal icon. He is a legend. He's Just a like last episode, this guy's fanboying out. He's I fanboying am fanboying out. out. Sorry, guys, so right here. <laughs> I will, but I have the fucking, you know, I don't have the pride. I will tell you, I'm an enslaved fanboy, and I'm definitely an Ivar fanboy. And I don't give a fuck what all these motherfuckers think. We talk about Abbott. We talk about everyone except for Ivar. Ivar does not get the fucking credit he deserves, he and that's a fact. He seriously is criminally underrated. Yeah, criminally <laughs> underrated, okay? I mean, we were talking about the guy who created Burzum that went to jail. Varg? That guy sucks dude, compared to this Okay, guy. guys, oh I've God. heard Burzum. They suck. They, I, I have nothing. I don't care what these people <laughs> say. They're just doing it because he killed someone. I don't fucking care. I'm liking the music, bro. Will's going off. I'll Will, go Will off. came yeah. here. I'll go off. Next time I see a kid with a Burzum shirt, I'm going to walk up to him with my enslaved frost shirt and say, hey, Burzum fucking sucks, dude. This Open is a, your mind, This bitch. is a Thousand Lies Part 2. Oh, Thousand Lies Part 2. Thousand, I, 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 I'm not going to go Let's get back to the song. Let's get back to the song. It has a good solo. It has a 
good section with a tremolo picking into a slower riff and then back to like a yeah. circle pit riff and at I love the, the end. Dun, when the bass Stop it. when everything stops and the bass brings back the dun dun dun. dun. Oh. Yes, dude. Awesome. And then when it's this just just, just to the guitar by itself for a little bit. Oh, oh yes. yes. Fucking cool, but let, let's let's get into the majesty of the night sky. This is a great song. It starts off really good again. Yeah. Last beat intro. Last but beat intro. There's only one problem with this song. I don't know if I should get right to there. You guys want to talk yeah, about dude, it? No, no, no. Go for it. Okay. There's only one. Okay. I'm going hot, hot and heavy. There's only one part. Around 2.30, it starts to slow down. And, dude, it goes on for way too long. It's like it's a minute and 45 seconds long, the slowdown. Yeah. And then there's whisper vocals. I hate the whisper vocals here. Yeah. I just think uh, it's a little too long. But then it ends with that cool bang, and it goes back to the beginning riffs. Yeah. I love the beginning sections so much. Yeah. But I do not like the middle section. I don't know. It's yeah. a change of pace. It's kind of refreshing to me. But it's... Yeah, I just hate it's the different. It's different what? from what the the album is, like Exa that little middle part. Yes. yes, I was gonna say because it sounds like everything's super dark in this entire album, and yeah. then for some reason there's just like an Iron Maiden sounding tremolo picking part. Really, I think it sounds a little bit like um, what's that album? Jester King from uh, not Jester King, uh, the Jester Jester's Race, Race by from In Flames. In Flames, well, I think that yeah. came out in '96. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. but it definitely sounds. It mimics a little bit, man. I'm just really? talking about yeah, the part it where it opens up with the keyboards. There's no guitar in what I'm talking about. No, no, no. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, talking okay. completely separate. I'm just oh, saying there's yeah. this, what I'm saying is the one problem I see is like there's like a a, a, my, a major key tremolo picking part. And you're like, where did that come from? That? <laughs> <laughs> I like that part. Literally, it's yeah. so out of the context of this album that it throws the song <laughs> off for me. But then it goes into it a scream and double off. bass, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But I'm saying like, why is that there? Why is that there? We're talking about an album with the most evil tracks ever created. That is so out of place. This is my least favorite song in the entire album. For me. What? Yeah, no it is. Way. That whole part. Bro, this is black as shit. Why is that riff there? Why? It would have been a perfect album. Despite all minor key. <laughs> perfect. You're all wrong, evil. Besides the, my, That one dee, riff dee, deteriorates if, if your you were, pick. If you were watching me, I'm swinging my arms dancing like an idiot. Ding, nee, 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 nee. It's like, why is that there? You know Why? what's funny though what? is I'm looking at the track listing and I'm like I love all these songs so much I yeah I actually do think it is, is the worst it's song probably it's is. the worst but, song but it's such it's such a great album that this song is still great it's still a great song, song and I'm just great. saying speaking to the th to the thematic side of being black and you're into the night side eclipse you throw a fucking riff like that in there like yeah. dude for a second I thought I was listening to Iron Maiden it's Maybe. a little like, offsetting. I, I'm sorry, sorry those whisper vocals in the middle suck, dude. I know. Any genre, any time that there are whisper vocals, it sucks. Like, <laughs> why, why was that a trend? Why does it continue to go on? But, yeah. Do you like the end with the bang? Yeah, I do. That's pretty cool. Back. Yeah, but uh, for me, this is clear cut. I think the Enslaved song. It's glide, not clear cut, I think, though. For me, it's clear cut. I don't think it's clear cut. Either, it's but close, yeah, I'm right? picking that Enslaved song. I yeah, I am say too. It. I'm, I'm not going with the pronounce banger. It. I'm going with the yeah. banger. And I think Enslaved does more with that song. For me, it's clear cut. I know you guys say it's a little bit. And it's. It's not. I'm saying that they aren't close. I'm just saying the this best is an easy part. win for me. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what I'm. Who gives a shit? I'm going with Glyphagalanin, Glanning. I don't even know what it's called. It's over. a banger, everybody. Check it and out. And it was a clean sweep, so that one get. Yeah, check it out if you're an em Emperor fanboy and you haven't heard Enslaved. So that gets the pentagram of truth. So we go on to track number seven, Wotan versus. In I am the Black Wizard. I'm hot on this one. Black Wizard's got a such a pass. This is the worst enslaved song on this record. It's so <laughs> fast and quick, and the the riffs are so they just don't hit me at all. Yeah. I think this is the worst song on this record. Wow, I it's think so the, boring. I'm not a, really against like uh, the uh, the production on Ever. I think that, like obviously it's the black metal production, but there's something about that intro guitar riff that just the production sounds like shit, like really bad. To where I'm like I don't like that. And then, like you said, it's not that entertaining of a song. It's definitely the worst song. It just yeah, it's not that good I of a hate song. It. Yeah, it's a mismatch. It's good. an easy win. But let's talk about. Well, let's talk about Black Wizards because this one got a fucking pass, dude. The yeah. the opening is great. You know what? Let's it's talk just about an aggressive. It's the intro. single though. Let's talk about it's what the yeah. single. First. That's why everyone knows it. It's an amazing intro. As usual, with almost every fucking Emperor song. Yeah, and the keyboards make the riffs. So much better yeah. on this song. And it adds the dynamic I, okay. to it. Yes. Man. The intro lead is very iconic. It's amazing. Yeah. That's a very iconic riff for black metal. But dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. It's so but cool. You guys saw them in, uh, in Vakken. They played it live, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this, at this that 356 up, mark, like, did you guys have y'all's fist in the air when it goes at one riff? Hey. Hey. Oh, I, yeah. I can't even remember, I don't dude. Remember. I, think I don't think so. so. Yeah. I don't no. think so, man. I feel like that's the here's part one of the, that would here's get Here's one of the problems. Hyped. You see a bunch of Emperor shirts, ain't nobody know the fucking songs. 
No, this song. No, 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 no. This song. That's one of the fucking problems. It opened up for this song. Remember, we we were at. This is when we got in the pit, dude. When they when they threw this song on, because the last couple songs and anthems, like people were just kind of like chilling. When they came back and did this song, that's when it opened up. Remember, and then Ino Satana. People were doing the Ino Satana chant. Yeah, that that song's yeah. Yeah, there was some fans. You got some hints, like sprinkles of death metal in this song. At the end, really? You think? Yeah, so? you think I think so? so. I don't know how I, I the don't. ending goes into that no, slow it's slower riff. transition. Yeah, so how is the slow riff black me- at death metal? I think it does. There's breakdown, some, breakdown yeah, wise, it has saying. a little breakdown on it. It, there, I don't think there's black metal at all in that part. No, I agree, but I don't think it's death metal. What would you consider it? I don't know. I it's just it's a like slow. A, who cares? It's just a slow, <laughs> heavy riff. It's just yeah. slow and heavy, but it slows down for like the last minute. And when he's screaming, "I am them." Dude, that part sucks. But he's a black wizard. Look at the back of the Dude, cover. <laughs> I don't care. That part's not good. Yeah. This is such an overrated song, I think. I know. And it's... <sighs> I think it's overrated, I'm not trying to personally. say it's... A, yeah, well, I think it's overrated, too. But I am I think I went off a little too hard. I don't think it's a bad song. I think it's a really good song. Um, I just think... Why why do we stop here? If you're an Emperor fan and this is the only song you can talk to me about, like why did you stop there? Like there's so many other amazing songs on this album specifically and anthems and going on in their career. So JJ, how do you rank this song on the record? I'm just curious about you because you're not a huge black metal guy, but which um, where would you rank? Do you think this is a top song or a mid song or a low? Uh, I would give it middle tier. Okay. Yeah, because I like the first one the best. No, second, and then I like Cosmic Keys number one. Okay. And then I probably take towards a Pantheon. Okay. And then that one. This one I am black. Wizards. Really? Yeah. Right there. I can see. I can see a little high four. for me, but okay. I think that makes really? sense. Really? It's high for you? I don't think it's better than Beyond the Great I think Bass JJ Forest. will get a lot of people agreeing with him if they've heard the album that they would put I am Black Wizards up there. Yeah, I know. I'm just Because I think you're hating on it too much. Because people like it. It's the single. But you I like mean, the ending? It's not bad. I oh, am dude. that. It's all right. You that, like that? that? That lead part is nowhere near as good as the intro uh, lead part. The, in- the intro is amazing, yeah, guys. Yeah. That's not what I'm, la- t- I'm just no, talking no, no, about no, no, the no. ending. I know. That last lead part is a ding, 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 ding. It's kind of But when they finally bring boring. that one melody back, <laughs> it's okay. When they're not Tremelo picking it, I like that ending part. Ding, 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 ding. I think people like that. Once again, it's, it, it's a lead that you can catch. You know what I'm saying? You can actually hear it. You can actually hear it and catch it and sing along. The, oh, oh, ding, ding, ding. And that's why I think it became a, a catchy song then, which is hilarious because the people that listen to him for are usually not there to be a, for the catchiness of it, but it's yeah. a catchy song. Oh, well, we are at the end of the day. It's fucking, I'm not going to go on the rant. I'm not going to go on the rant. I already <laughs> ranted. But anyway, let's go with the picks for sure. Uh, I am the Black Wizards. Wizards yeah. Beat Wotan. Which means we it got, got off easy, everybody. Yeah. It got off easy. It wouldn't have bit, it wouldn't have beat the last song. Oh, man. Yeah. The, the, what, I completely agree. So let's go to the last song, which is, Is Iso Dare's droning versus Inno Ah Satana. Oh, this is I actually think this is a good battle. This is a good battle. Yeah, this is a battle. Okay, good. I think it's a great battle. They're both just macabre. They're all dark and very dark. And I love (laughs) that it's about the queen of the night, like uh, on the enslaved side. Yeah. And they have that woman singing at the first part with that build up. Like the the very high choral notes. I love that with the acoustic guitar. I think it's a sick oh, build. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize yeah. that. Yeah. That's the witch, dude. That's the queen of the night. It's a great way to end the Frost album. This song the is theme. weird. Dude, that's pretty the, insane. This song is weird, and like the acoustics are really cool. I know. I love the acoustic guitar everywhere. Once again, yeah, Evar's showing. Like, you get a sad presence on this song. Exactly. Dude. Once again, Evar's mm-hmm. showing that he can convey more than just black metal da, 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 with his songwriting. For me. I'll um, fanboy out, and I'll say it. But yeah. he's there showing the diversity of his. That's really incredible. Do. Yeah, think. and then they bring in the the chant because dude. still dark. Right, right after yeah. you have that, you you build into those chanting riffs, which I love, which I think is Gutle and Ivar doing the chants together. Who knows what they're saying? It's probably Norwegian, it's, but it's dope as shit. And then we build up into a fucking badass song. Yeah, I think it's a great build. And then, like later in the song, after that, it's like in around five minutes, it slows down and then goes back to the acoustic. But yeah. this time, the drummer's going crazy. Yeah, dude, the oh, drummer damn. goes ham, dude. <laughs> Just the drummer He's goes going crazy. Fucking nuts. Yeah, he yeah. goes fucking insane. It's a great finish to this album. Yes, it's, it's a very it's nice fantastic. Sp- I still like speaking it. to the pagan theme, still dark and cold. Like I said, it makes me. I put it on, and I gotta put a jacket on. Like I get cold <laughs> listening to it. 
And that's I think exactly this song that is I, a, I think this song is a journey, and I love it because it kind of gets you in a different headspace. And I like how different yeah. it is. Yeah, it's a journey because you go through uh, many emotions in this song. Like it's yeah. super sad, and then it just gets evil, and then dude, you just want to bang your head, dude. It has it all. I like I, it yeah. a lot. I love this. This is a great, a great fucking song. Un- <laughs> underrated uh, enslaved song. Yeah, for sure. it is. I'd love to see this live. I would love. This would be a really I want to like, see just they, song to just vibe out to. Oh yeah, I want to see how they they pull it off. I'm gonna have to look up videos when they play that metal and beer fest to see how they do this one. Because I think that's just a synth. I'm sure it's not a woman singing. It sounds really, really high in the register. Yeah. So they'll probably just do like... Anyway, fucking awesome song. Great build-ups. Great songwriting. It, it, where would you put it tier-wise on the Oh, my second album? favorite. It's your second favorite song? Wow. Yeah, I really like this song a lot, dude. I'd I think, say it's... I'd, go ahead. Third or fourth for me. I'd really? say fourth for me. Because, guys, i got to slay in that Jotun blood. No. No, no I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh... <laughs> I think it would be tied with the the Glypha. Exactly, that's yeah. the one I'm battling. Yeah. Three and four. I, I agree. So mm. it'd be three or four somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, it's a fucking amazing. I don't know. I just like it. It's composed really well. It yes. is. Yeah. Definitely. And that's what I like it about it so much. It's so different. But yes. yeah, it's still the roots. It's crazy. I don't know. It's hard to describe. I agree with you. Yeah. It's composed really well. It's a really well written song, and it it is totally different than everything on the record. Because on this enslaved, there's a lot of bangers, but mm-hmm. this one's got a lot of atmosphere to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and then I love really how, good. like, you think it's going to end really hard with the da 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 but then they bring that that original melody yes. and it blows out. Like, that's great songwriting, man. This is a great fucking song. Awesome. But let's move on but to the Inok Asatana. Dude, Dude this just the song title is so awesome. fucking That metal. drum fill to start it. <laughs> you know it's game time, baby. That's a great fucking uh the double bass and just yeah. fucking slam right into it very Again. different too no blast beats until like that three minute mark which is crazy yeah no i completely <laughs> agree yeah. and the uh i this one has some parts that i like and i don't like but the first part with like the clean plus the scream mm-hmm. oh, no, no. i actually really love oh, it yes and that riff underneath i, that I wish they would the have riff underneath is awesome yeah, awesome. That's, that's yeah. Super I wish enjoyable. they would have done more of the choral yes. thing while he's screaming over it because it does sound really cool. It sounds really good. Once again, what does that sound like? Cradle of fucking filth, dude. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. A little <laughs> yeah, bit. A little bit. So you can see where Cradle and Demu got it from. Yeah, I definitely. agree. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, the uh, like you said, the, the little riff beneath that whole part is awesome. The riff too. beneath so it is everything awesome. just works it's for super, the song. It's a super catchy tremolo, but it's like a like you talked about in one of the Gojira, it's like a low tremolo. Yeah. And it's yeah. really and catchy. And then it comes up higher. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that shit. But yeah. It's a great song too. Good song. Um, do you like the clean vocals at the end, the Ino Asatana part? I d- don't oh. love that part. The you only reason it? why is because when we saw I it think live, it works. dude. You think it works? I think it works. That's personally. surprising. I thought yeah. you were not gonna like it. Wow. I, I like it. I do. I do. I just, I just from every time I hear that, it reminds me of being at Bakken and seeing the people chanting. No, so that'd be cool to see, man. That'd be pretty oh, cool to see. Oh, it was fucking awesome. It was. That was incredible. a great way to end their set, and I was just like, dude, I don't think I'll ever see that band again, and I can't believe that I saw them. Like, so for me, it has a, it's very near and dear to my heart. But as a song, to get a step back, leaving <sighs> my emotion out of it, this is so hard. Yeah, it's not the. I don't really love that part, but to me, this is the closest one. Oh, there's like really a, um, I'm sorry. I wrote down. There's yeah. a slowdown at like 145. It's like a slower riff, but the drums in the bass, you can finally hear the finally bass. Finally hear the bass. The yep. bass finally comes. And the fucking drums smack it down, dude. Drums smack yes. it down. Yeah. And there's, ha- there's definitely good songwriting in this song too, because there's a little acoustic part that you can kind of hear. Uh, yes. But yeah. I know what part you're talking about. Yeah, so I think there is great songwriting in this song, too. That's what makes it so hard, because both these songs are fucking fantastic, but... These are uh, great songs. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It's I'll be really the first hard. to pick. But let me see, JJ. Okay. I want to see where you're going. Okay. I'm taking Drowning. Ro- oh, Easy Doors. Drowning? Drowning. Really? Drowning. Yes, dude. I like that song so much. I really do. It's composed really well. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, fuck. I, that's personally fuck, my pick. I, Will, do you have a clear pick? Whoa. I really don't, dude, and... I don't want to make. Uh, no, I know I'm going to. I gotta go with. I gotta go with Inoue Satana. Whoa! Because you're of the tiebreaker, dude. Because of <laughs> when we saw them, because of how significant that song is to just to black metal itself. Uh. It's fucking amazing. Like I love that song, but I it's it was very close. Like you said, probably one of the closest uh, picks I had to make on the album. So Eric, you gotta be the tiebreaker, dude. What is it? This one is so close. 
Uh, See, I haven't seen it live, so I don't know the aspect of that. And I think that emotionally grabbed you. It did. It did. Yeah. It really did. <laughs> Fucking Emperor, man. Yeah. Man. Woo. Okay. If I just had to pick off the top of my head, though, I'm going to go with Isidore's Drone. Damn. Whoa. I love this oh song. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Get people really pissed off The elitists off are me. coming after us, guys. The black metal, <laughs> the true cult people are going to get us. I get so. it. It's him to Satan. It's so fucking metal, but... I just I love the whole song of Isidore's, and there's yeah. parts of Inno that I can say, I like it, don't love it, but I think it's a super close. I mean, I'm yeah. you know I'm yeah. picking, but I love the entire Isidore's drone. I yeah. love it. It's yeah. a Same great here. fucking song. Yeah, like I you said, agree. you get you get thrown off by the the actual Inno Asatana part at the end. I do. Yeah, I do. I can see why because I love the cleans at the first part. I'll take okay. Here's a here's a good uh, thing. I'll take the chanting from Enslaved way over that ending. Yeah, Inno exactly. Asatana. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. But uh, no, I got to go with Inno. But wow. I lost. So uh, let's see. The last track goes to Isidore's Droning, which comes to our final. And it's an underrated track. I think people need to go listen to this track. It's great. Yeah. It won the Pentagram of Truth over Inno Asatana. We didn't just make that pick because we're assholes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we did it because we listened to both albums many times. So with that going forward, let's go to the Pentagram of Truth. In Slaves Frost got three. Which oh. means the winner is into the nightside eclipse with one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I, let's even in an album debate, I'm gonna go also with into the nightside eclipse. I think it does. It's a I, very iconic, amazing album. Yeah. Not just because of the cultness, like I think some of the other bands in this genre are, but because the music is fucking awesome. It's a great yeah. black metal album. I think it defines for me what black metal is and should be. I, I agree. I would just say, statements. you know, when I when we first threw out this debate, I did think he was going to be closer, but on this on at this time in their career, I think in Insla- Emperor is a clear winner. I just think the music it's so fucking good. I don't think there's a bad song on the record. Yeah, there's not a bad song on the nope. record. No. It's so consistent, and um, I love Enslaved, um, and like Will said. I don't even think this is a top five enslaved record. No, like, that's exactly. how much I love enslaved. They only get better. They only exactly. get better. And honestly, I know it's gonna make people mad. I think Emperor only goes down from here. Whoa! Um, yeah, yeah. I'm you sorry. Think they're at their peak. I think after they're right? at their peak in their debut. I think enslaved wow. just keeps getting better. This isn't even a top five enslaved record. No, exactly. Um, I, I completely agree with that. So I was surprised, but yeah, Into the Nightside Eclipse is a much better album. And it's black. Metal I think to the it core. is. I think it's a much better record. Yeah. And, but I'm curious to see what, what you guys think and what the black metal people think. We got to re-record this with some real guitars, some real production. This shit oh, needs some real we production. Need to talk about that, dude. This the shit production. needs real production. The production's I think oh, it would the take production's away. terrible. I think it would take away from the mystique. No. If Don't it, you want to hear this with like some amazing I, synth no. orchestra? I think, uh, I think be careful uh, what you wish for. Dude. I'm torn be in the middle because if it's overproduced, it's going to sound like Exactly. Shit. If it's got cradle filled the production. The atmosphere doesn't go along with it. So I, I agree with Will. But you can't aspect. hear the drums. I think, you can't hear the guitars. It's just you can I think hear the atmosphere. It. You can, if you it, turn well. it up to 100. That's what you need to be listening to. If you're not listening to 100, <laughs> what are you listening to? Now? I think it's the opposite. <laughs> if you get the production great on Frost, holy shit, that would be incredible. I think you're wrong. I think it needs. I no think way. this I th- album would be. I think I'm with Will with the atmosphere. That Here's what the I would say. Production is maybe shitty, but it goes along. Let with me the say album. my big hit. If this, if Into the Night Side Eclipse had like, I think in my personal opinion, like top better production, like significantly better production, I think this would be an undisputable like top metal record of all time. But I think because of its production, a lot of people can't get into it. And it I think it's because of the production. It. Yeah, it deters a lot it of people. Go... A lot of them, even if you're an extreme metal fan, because death metal has good production. Yes. Uh, uh, even some of the grindcore bands like later Napalm Death have good production. Carcass. Carcass has great <laughs> oh, production. Carcass has amazing uh, production. Yeah, so I can, I can see where you're getting out with that. I can see both 50-50. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. I want to throw it out there. I just think, like I said, I, I think it there's there's something about the mystique of black metal that people g- gear towards. And I think it's because it's not so uh, produced like the other genres of metal. But at the same time, I can see where you're coming from. I personally just want to leave it how it is. Don't fucking touch it. It's awesome. I don't like. Um, usually, most of the time, people re-record shit. It doesn't sound as good, so don't do it. I like the mystique of the album. I like what it is, and I don't want to hear it with Cradle or Demu's production. I think you would then detract and be like, "Oh, you know what? It really isn't that much better than some of the other stuff." That's ah. what. I, that's what my biggest fear is: is that some of those riffs would be like, "All right, it's just be an average album." Yeah. 
I think it would go either way. But anyway, anyway, it's not. It's a great. That's we're talking hypotheticals. Let's talking reality. I think Enslaved has the better production on on both of these. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll take Frost production. That's not close. All right, JJ, go. About what? With what? Overall, do you think it's yeah? What do you? Oh, this to me is lopsided. Yeah, Emperor is a a much better album. But like you said before, like Enslaved's only gonna get this much better. Way better. So much better. It's insane. And um, like I said, I haven't heard enough emperor to say that oh this is where they peak so i don't know i would have to listen to other yeah. albums you if you can get yeah. into this you should try the next one because yeah Anthems i probably will because this classic. album was fucking banging dude. yeah, yeah. yeah. Throw the on next Anthems. one's really good the next one is amazing from start to finish i mean it's just a fantastic album but yeah i, I haven't jammed prometheus enough or fucking equilibrium but later ishan is interesting <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like it but I don't love it like I love Enslaved, like fucking Vertebrae, End Times, Ritter. Oh my God. Uh, the list goes on. Axioma, Issa, OD. Rune. Are we uh, fucking kidding me? Rune, Issa. Jesus. It just, they so go on and on and on. How good those are. So I would love to have the Emperor fanboys call us out for that because I'll fucking go toe to toe with any motherfucker that thinks Emperor's a better band than Enslaved. That's a joke, bitch. Sorry. That is a <laughs> fucking joke. But. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about here. The winner is Into the Nightside Eclipse. It won the Pentagram of Truth. If you think Frost is better, guess what, motherfucker? Your opinion is wrong, wrong. bitch. And that's it for us. You got anything left to say, guys? No, man. I said everything I had to. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next episode. Take care, guys. Take care.